Okay, let's get started now. Uh, let's open up where we uh, left off. Yeah, technology question, okay. Now, okay, this is question one one five. Okay, let's let's try and make this um, f x defined as if um, is x less than or equal to 3, um, then um, x squared, else x plus 4. I'm not sure if this is the right syntax. Let, let's see. Let's let's try it. Um, three should make nine. Okay, and then zero should make four. Mm, no, oh no 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 zero shouldn't make four. Um, um, four should make eight. Yeah, oh, it's working. Wonderful. Okay, so in the following exercise, use a calculator to draw the graph and so the graph to evaluate the limits. Okay, plot 2D, expression y equals f of x, would that do the job? Um, oh no, they don't need to put the y in. I always have trouble with this, don't I? This Variable min max. Uh, okay, let's try again. Uh, Okay. Uh, why am I having trouble today with this? Um, is it is it that I forgot the semicolon? Is it not like in the if? Is that the problem? Yeah. Okay, let me just pause for a second. I think I'm having some trouble with the piecewise element here. Okay, I found a better way to define the piecewise function using a function called block. And then now I can make the graph. So you can see it. Uh, it's broken here. And uh, we might even want to focus more in on that. So um, you you can see what's happening here. Um, from the left and from the right, we'll get different answers. Either going to be a nine or a seven. Nine or seven. Nine then seven. We'll see. Okay, let's let's check the answers here. Oh, what's oh my table of contents is messed up. Weird.
see if I can find it. Um, this looks for me. Which one are we on now? 115. Oh, there's the graph. Yeah. The only problem is my graph draws in this vertical line, which I, I don't like. It's a pity. But anyways, yeah, nine then seven. So that's the that's the same answer. Okay. Um next one now. Let's clear this off. One one six. Um GX block. If x is less than or equal to zero, then x cubed minus one, else one. Okay, and we want the plot. Okay. There we go. Yeah, so from the left and from the right. So from the left, it'll be minus one or one then. Okay. Minus one, then one. Okay. Next one now. One one seven and H of X lock and squared. Oh, if X is less than two, then X squared minus two X plus one else three minus X and then plot h of x uh, around about 2. Hmm. Is it this at the bottom? No. If x less than 2, then Mm, that's a bit weird. Maybe. Okay. Okay. Guess just needed some brackets. Um, and we're looking for at two. Left and right. Mm, both cases looks like it's one. Yeah, yeah. Both, both limits are one. Okay, let's let's check the answers. Oops, where am I? One seventeen. Um, there it is one and one yeah 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 okay right okay what's next now in the following exercise use the following graph and the limit law to evaluate each limit ah okay okay let's copy those And we can copy these graphs then. Oh, 
Okay, okay. So the first one here, um, do we have a limit f of g at minus 3 to the left? That top one, by the way, sorry, is f, and the bottom one is g. I cut that off. Okay, so minus 3. Um, but from the from the right, so minus two, and then the g minus three, but from the right is two, so it looks like that's zero. Let's double check this. Um, minus three is here. But from the right, so that's minus 2, and then minus 3 from the right. To, yeah, yeah, that looks like 0. Now, the next one. Minus 3 from the left for f is 0. And then g minus 3 from the left is minus two. So minus three times minus two. So that's a six then. Okay, at zero, f times g, one times minus three, minus three over three is one. Okay, two, plus g at minus 5, so that's a 0, 2 over f at minus 5, to 1, and then 1 is 1, squared is 1, and then 1, uh, or Hard to tell. Ah. Two, I guess. Two minus two minus minus five R roots set cube roots. Oh, maybe it's supposed to be eight. Ugh, could it be two about? Now let's definitely check the answers here. Ooh. This is it, isn't it? What section is this now? Oh, a little too far down. Okay. Uh, here we go. This looks like it. Is it? Whoops. No. Sorry, folks. Ah, here we are. Okay. Right. Where am I now? One. Uh, not 118. 119. Six. Correct. 121. One. Correct. 123. I was right the first time. Seven. I thought it might round off the cube root 8. I was reading the graph wrong, but yeah, it was cube root 7. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, I guess the others are okay then. All right. Um, I think there's a couple more of these. Yeah. Okay, um, let's get these last two. Whoops. Okay, well, that's going to be minus seven, and then g, g at minus seven is two. 
So that's minus 14. And then this will be minus 9 times f at minus 9, which is 6, plus 2 times g at minus 9, which is 2. So that's minus 54 plus 4. I don't think I read that right. I might need the ruler to help. Um, f at minus 9. That looks like 6. Plus g at minus 9. Ah. Misread that one. That's a four. So that's an eight. Um, so that is minus 46. I think that was the answer at the back. Let's see. Okay. Um, have a look here. Where are we? Mm. Are we here? Is it here? One. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, minus 46. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. I think that probably should leave it for there for today because um, we're back to technology questions. Um, what did I just? I did those. I did those. I did those. I did those. Yeah. Okay. A few technology questions left. We can finish next time. So we're up to one twenty-five. Hopefully I didn't make a mistake. I'm feeling quite tired today. But anyways, any problems, do let me know. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.